Here are two things to check before you buy a Ring Doorbell 3 or any other wireless doorbell. We've installed quite a few Ring doorbells and have found two common issues when getting them to work. In this video, we will show you what those two problems are and also how you can fix them before installing or even purchasing your video doorbell. Quite often, the Wi-Fi router is too far away from the location of the wireless doorbell. The doorbell is also often installed on an exterior concrete wall by the front door, which may cause the signal strength to become weak or even unconnectable. First, use your phone and place it on airplane mode and connect to the same Wi-Fi that the doorbell will connect to. Next, go to the location where you want to install the doorbell and place your phone on the wall where the doorbell will get mounted. Then run a speed test like this one that we found on Google. This will give you an idea of the Wi-Fi reception the doorbell may get. Our only concern is the upload speed, so you can ignore the download results. Ring's website states the optimal performance for most of their devices is 2 megabytes a second upload speed. Their tech support confirmed for us that the same goes for their Ring Doorbell 3, with a minimum speed of 1 megabytes a second. But throughout the day, your Wi-Fi speed can fluctuate, so more upload speed is obviously better. What can you do if you aren't getting enough signal? Our recommendation is to add an access point. We use this access point in many different applications. This Unify access point here has a range up to 400 feet and on a 2G network has bandwidth up to 450 megabytes a second. In many cases, it has a larger and stronger signal than many standard routers. One other reason we personally recommend this access point is that it will not only help with your Wi-Fi doorbell, but it will also help with your overall Wi-Fi throughout your home. It's recommended to have your doorbell hardwired for power. That power often is from an existing doorbell wire. The manufacturer specifications are 8 to 24 volts AC, but in our experience, we still found that power issues could occur with anything below 16 volts AC. Which means even if you have an already existing power line, it may not be enough. In any case, it is not always possible or practical to have your device hardwired. So what can you do? As many of you know, the ring can be powered off of a battery. That's fine, but it can also leave you susceptible to your battery dying at inconvenient times. Like for instance, if you're on a trip for several days. Besides that, it can still be a nuisance having to add charging your ring doorbell battery to your things to do list. Our personal recommendation is the solar charger for the Ring Doorbell 3. We personally have been testing this product, and after about four months, not only have we not had to charge the battery, but it's still at about 86%. That same doorbell before needed its battery charged or changed every month. Now, there are many factors that affect how long your personal battery will last, and also many factors that would determine how much a solar charger would help. But if you can't use a hardwired power source and you can install your doorbell anywhere that it's going to have direct sun, even for a short period of time each day, then this is definitely an option to consider. 